The great thing about Shakespeare is he can make any word alive. My bounty is as boundless as the sea, and my love is deep. And the more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. My favorite Shakespearean phrase is, the readiness is all. I think I would stick with Hamlet and Ophelia, and how should I your true love know? I think that is the beginning and end of all human relationships wrapped up in this beautiful little bow of a sentence. She should have died hereafter. There would have been a time for such a word. What does that mean? I've always liked the phrase, a tide in the affairs of men. It's a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. What attracted me to the Shakespeare project is simply answered, Shakespeare. Well, simple fact that, uh, that it's Shakespeare. You know, I, I wanted to do this project because uh, Shakespeare scares me. The opportunity to work with a text that I have loved and meditated upon privately, probably for all of my adult life. To take one of the, the classic stories that he wrote about so well and, and find a way to translate that into modern day and, and tell it myself. The Hogarth series was saying, just help yourself to one of these plots and run with it. It was sort of like a gift. You know how sometimes a friend will tell you something that happened to her and you think, wait, there must be more to it than that. I'm sure there's another side to this. Well, that's how I've always felt about The Taming of the Shrew. I saw the play, The Winter's Tale, um, really quite young, in my early 20s. and was enchanted by it and struck by it, changed by it. It's got an abandoned child in it, of course, and I am. So it has a personal resonance. As beautiful and complicated and interesting as that play is, and as many times as it's been interpreted by different people, I just still think there's more. I mean, that's the great thing about Hamlet. You, you, there's just so much there that I, I just thought, you know, that would be the ultimate challenge and, and a real thrill. The reason I chose Othello is because it's a play that's not just about jealousy, not just about bullying, but it's really about being other. Othello is a stranger in a strange land, and I have spent the last 30-something years being a stranger in a strange land. Um, when I was in my early 20s, I moved from the States to England, and I still live here, and when I open my mouth um, and speak, People still say, are you on holiday? When are you going back? When I read it for the first time then, in years and years and years, I thought what a fantastic play it was and what a challenge it was to me to write uh, a contemporary novel that would be, the and I saw it at once at the same time, tragic and very, and very funny. It's short. That may not sound like a good reason, but for me, um, if I was to create a story around the plot. I really wanted it to be a short and simple plot that I can build my own story around. So, um, and also it's of course because it's, it's my favorite Shakespeare play. So long as men can breathe, their eyes can see. So long lives this. And this gives life to thee.